Malaysia on another lockdown? Oh no! Hello guys, welcome once again to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, this is Bolu <laughs> and you are here to explore with Bolu. If you are new to the channel, thank you so much for joining the family today. You are welcome and I want to tell you, you did not miss your destination. You came to the right place because this is a happy family and we are like brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers here. So feel free to subscribe and enjoy the beautiful explores with Bolu around Malaysia. If you are a returning subscriber, I love you guys so much. You are the reason why this channel is still here thank you very much okay let us move to the topic of today very juicy <laughs> So yes, today is going to be very brief. We are talking about Malaysia on another lockdown. Like, wow. I've been receiving a lot of questions, okay, from foreigners, you know, in different places who may want to actually come to study in Malaysia or uh, maybe come for one thing or the other. Those who are also uh, thinking and hoping for when the borders of Malaysia will be open so they can come and explore this beautiful country. You know, like I told you guys, Previously, Malaysia is one of the countries that actually has a lot of visitors, uh, you know, with regard or with comparison to its uh, population. You understand? When you compare the population of Malaysia to the amount of visitors that Malaysia receives every year, almost 19 million. That's very huge. You heard me right? <laughs> so you will know that, ah, then this country, it seems that there's something interesting in this country that people are actually what? Uh, looking for or coming to actually explore so yes this coronavirus uh, or this pandemic has affected a lot of things and of course the uh, tourism sector is not spared okay in fact it is highly affected with this uh, corona pandemic situation so people cannot be able to really travel into the country like that as they used to do before you know even if you want to come to the country now which is for special reasons you know like academic purposes and maybe you have a spouse here or you are working here and your company is able to actually what uh, arrange all those stuff for you then you have to come and you have to bear the cost of quarantine you know in the hotel you don't even have the choice to choose the hotel you wish to stay in they're actually going to choose it for you and then the food everything is just a very 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 funny situation and scenario uh, that the whole world is passing through and Malaysia is not an exception okay so we have been here or I have been here at least since this pandemic started and till this time like a joke guys just as water cover the sea this pandemic is already going to two years <laughs> I know you never thought about that before yes it's far far more than one year already and gradually the whole of last year was almost wasted and this year also 2021 is gradually going like that it is critical i think the pandemic started in malaysia last year around march okay so we're already more than one year right we're more than one year already it actually started giving signals from that kind of february january february ending and then from march that was when we had our first lockdown in malaysia okay and after that we recorded a lot of victory in fact it was so beautiful you know there was one video that time that was raining or trending uh, how Malaysia did the impossible. I don't know if you have watched it. And yes, Malaysia actually conquered that first round. And uh, after the first round, it hit again the second time. And uh, it was very critical. It's not something that one should be happy about. Okay, but we are doing this to be able to see what really happened. Okay, and how we can also avoid this kind of uh, things from repeating itself. And after the second time, Malaysia also tried their best. And, you know, as usual, Malaysia is always, you know, ready to handle the situation. That's one thing I like about Malaysia. They are always ready to handle whatever situation that comes their way, especially in this pandemic. They were prepared. And at the end of the day, I think uh, the, the life of the people is what is more important. 
okay but as i'm talking to you now we are back again to another wave and this time around this is the third lockdown the whole country is uh, under the mco in malaysia we call it mco we don't really call it like lockdown but it's still a lockdown because there are a lot of restrictions you cannot travel you know interstate to another state in fact for a long time we have not been able to travel interstate and when we were praying and thinking that you know maybe the government will uh reconsider maybe things will be normal things will be better of course the government does not have a choice to some extent you know like it's until when things are actually okay and stabilized before they can say okay we cannot travel again you get my point now so yeah unfortunately things were not okay things were not so fine instead things got worse and then they had no choice than to implement another lockdown and as i'm speaking to you now malaysia is on the third major lockdown anyways the way they did it in malaysia or the way they do it in malaysia is that you know depending on the situational uh percentage or situational level in your state in the different states that will uh, guarantee or warranty what kind of measures uh, that will be applied okay but as it is now the latest news i will read here from a reliable source they said uh Kuala Lumpur, malaysia will be imposing a nationwide movement control order which is a lockdown starting from wednesday may 12th okay so that's like three days ago because this video you are watching it on the 15th of may so our lockdown started on may 12th that's a nationwide lockdown this time around so it's not like maybe like the previous one where maybe some of the state uh, green zones like i mentioned previously so this is an update for you guys the whole of malaysia is on a lockdown now okay and um this lockdown is going to last for almost a month okay until early next month that is june uh to be able to reduce the rising number of the covid 19 cases in the country according to the prime minister he stated on monday now uh, the Prime Minister also said in a statement that the decision was taken by the National Security Council, the decision-making body on the pandemic, during a meeting which was chaired by him, the Prime Minister, on Monday. Now, like I told you earlier, guys, this is the third major lockdown in Malaysia, okay, since the pandemic started. Malaysia has been able to actually manage the cases, but now this is the third one and it will likely be the strictest or the most strict lockdown in Malaysia ever since last year, March. Why is that so? Of course, it is because most of the country's economy has also been shut out. You know, there is a lot of challenges here and there. That is the truth. So if you are thinking of coming to Malaysia at this time, hmm, two things are involved. I am not even sure if you can even still come to Malaysia now for academic purposes. Please, guys. If you know about this information, maybe as a Malaysian or an international fellow in Malaysia, is it allowed for people to actually travel down to Malaysia now during this MCO, even for academic purposes or for all those other purposes? Let me know in the comment section below. But I'm going to tell you some of the purposes or reasons why you may be allowed to come to Malaysia even at this time. Okay, so let's continue the reading of the news. So yes, travel across state and district is only allowed for some certain reasons for work. For emergencies okay uh for medical appointment for visiting of spouses and for vaccination appointment that's if you want to go for vaccination because in malaysia they have started taking the vaccination okay the covid 19 vaccines uh but it's based on appointment okay you have to first of all register on the myja satera app there's an app in malaysia that is specifically made for that purpose so you have to download the app and you have to register on it and anytime they give you appointment you know based on availability then you go and take your vaccination but this vaccination self hmm, god will help us on that topic <laughs> let me not say much you guys know right like it's only god that's protecting us okay it's very good to take the vaccine so that your immune system can be boosted that was what a medical fellow told me that actually this vaccine this current covid 19 vaccine is only going to help to boost your immune system okay so it's better than nothing right it's better to take it if it is safe and certify which i believe malaysia government is working towards ensuring that whatever vaccine is being allowed for people to take is actually safe tested and certified hopefully so yes 
According to the Prime Minister, also the economic activities will continue throughout the country. Wow, that's so good. And yeah, that's true. Actually, some of the, the shops are still allowed to open the restaurant and all that, but there will be restrictions. Like, you cannot dine in in the restaurant, for example. Like, you cannot eat inside the restaurant, but the restaurant is still open, okay? However, all social activities, events, dining in at restaurant, like I just mentioned, and inter-district and interstate travels are banned. <laughs> Kai, this is a serious situation. They are banned. So there's no freedom of movement like that as you would have when the uh, virus was not there. So yes, only some selected outdoor exercises are allowed. So let's say you want to do some exercises outside. For example, I think like at the parks, like in Malaysia here, that's one of the beauties of Malaysia. We have this kind of parks, water parks, you know, where you can just walk around, do exercises and release your stress. I think that is allowed, but there must be strict physical distance, okay, while performing such exercises. And um, actually, officially, this MCO will last until the 7th of June. That is next month, basically, until the 7th of June. So it's almost like one month lockdown. I am sincerely praying that this thing will not be extended because normally, if you guys look at the trend, since the pandemic thing started and since lockdown has been imposed or CMCO or CMCO is conditional movement control order, okay, or RMCO, whatever kind of lockdown uh, being imposed here in Malaysia, they usually make it in two weeks. They say, okay, in two weeks' time, 14 days and all that. And I want to tell you the truth. None has actually stayed for that exact two weeks. Like, after two weeks, everybody already knows the next thing. They say it has been extended till another two weeks like that. So it is really critical. But I hope this one will work out well. But of course, it is not in their power because they are actually going to look at the cases, whether it has reduced the death rate and all that. And if things are okay, then definitely they will lift the bans or whatever. Actually, now in Malaysia, the death rate is not really, really nice. It's not too high because if I mention it, people say, ah, it's very low compared to what's happening in maybe India or some other part of the world. But Malaysia is very careful and that's why I like them. Even if they have two deaths in a day, they will cry out yes and they will ensure that things are actually put in the right place so but what i'm seeing from the statistics now the death rate is, is actually increasing compared to what we used to have before and it's not a good thing at all i just pray that things get better and i hope all of us are safe anywhere you are all over the world so for now with regards to education i am not sure you can actually travel to malaysia okay let me continue the news there are still some more information here so yes this announcement actually came just days before Ali Raya, which is the celebration here in Malaysia, which will be which has been celebrated, that has been celebrated actually on Thursday, okay, at the end of the fasting month. Malaysia's first lockdown to deal with COVID-19 lasted nearly two months. Are you guys hearing that? Between March and May last year. However, there was a lot of early success which has been recorded with regards to the pandemic, okay, but this actually cracked uh during sometimes last year when there was a kind of legislative assembly elections in one part of malaysia which is sabah uh, around september and that activity actually led to the second wave which was very very critical hereafter so i believe the government will be very careful this time around and people will also be careful so that we don't repeat the same mistake okay uh, but one thing I like is that Malaysians, uh, the government actually tries to hit the nail on the head once there's any sign, okay? And that's why they are not having further spread, okay, of the uh, pandemic. So, uh, as I round up, guys, I would like to tell you that as I'm speaking to you now, active cases have doubled in the past month, uh, climbing from a low of 15,000 active cases in early April up to more than 37,396 active cases as of Monday before this video was made. That's a very huge rise. Okay, that's a very huge rise. I know like some of you will say, ah, uh -uh, this number is small compared to what we are seeing in these places. But for us in Malaysia, it is not small. Of course, our population also is not small as you can see. So anyways, uh, guys, vaccination is already in Malaysia and you can register 
on Niger Satera and hopefully things will be fine. I don't ask you for any advice because I don't have any advice to give with regards to that topic for now. But you follow your heart, you follow your spirit, and you do the right thing if you think it's good enough for you. At least it's not compulsory now, right? So it's voluntary. You can register and go and take your vaccination. God Almighty will protect us and keep us because at the end of the day, it's only God that can actually protect us. People are actually taking vaccines from other places and you know the rest of the story. So let's keep safe. Okay, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about this pandemic? What do you think about the situations around it, surrounding it? And do you think things will actually get better anytime sooner than later? My question also, which I'm still trying to answer right in my head. Uh, anyways, more videos will be coming your way, guys. We'll be discussing, we'll be cooking, we'll be going out. Are we going to go out? Not really. I can't go out much. But maybe when I go for exercise or stuff like that or buy stuff, I can just show you how outside looks in Malaysia. So if you have been told that Malaysia is on a lockdown now, yes, very true. Nationwide lockdown, okay? You cannot really come into the country now, okay? But you can still apply for your admissions. You can do all the processes online. Everything is online, basically, as I speak to you. Even if you're in Malaysia, it's still likely to be online, okay? Except for maybe some people who need to be in the lab and stuff like that. Then you need some uh, official letter to allow you to go into the campus. So that is the situation of things, and I hope things get better. Anyways, I would love to read your comment down. But till I see you next time, stay safe, stay positive. Don't let anybody steal your joy. Let's keep praying for Malaysia. Let's keep praying for the world. And let's keep praying for ourselves and our loved ones. Much love and God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.